How's it going guys? Uh, I'm going to show you a real quick video on how to use Windows Movie Maker which is installed on most Windows computers. I'll also add a link in the description for those who don't have it already installed. It's a free on Windows program. Um, you could use Windows Movie Maker to make time-lapse videos. A lot of people don't realize, and it actually does a really good job of it for being a free program. It's something you can utilize. And first thing you want to do once it opens up is you want to click Add Fo Videos and Photos. And then we'll go down to... So what you'll do is you'll click on the first picture in the set of pictures that you want to use. Okay, then go down to the bottom. I've got 420 pictures here I'm going to be using. And then hold the shift button and click the last one too. And that'll highlight all of the pictures. Now just click open and it'll open all the photos in Movie Maker. Now, depending on how long you want the, day, the time lapse to be and how much, uh, how quick you want the movement to be to say if you're shooting clouds or stars or whatever, you could bring it all the way down to a third of a second, I believe. But what we'll do for this is just put it to a seventh of a second. And that will make the whole video be 29 seconds long. So for 420 shots, you'll turn into almost 30 seconds of footage. Okay, and you can preview your time lapse. That's going to be pretty quick. Sometimes with a lot of pictures, it does kind of stall on the preview, so it's best to... You know, just do a couple of seconds preview and you can see there that it's moving pretty quick. So I think I'm going to actually bring it up to a tenth of a second. Oh, no. Now this you might run into every once in a while. See that? I accidentally did it on only this frame. So what you want to do is go back here and click Select All. So it will select all the pictures. And then go back into the edit and duration 0 0.10. And that'll make the whole, all the pictures the same length. And now, instead of it was about 30 seconds before, now the whole overall uh, video will be 42 seconds long. And then what you do from here is you just, if you want to add uh, music, you can. I'll go ahead and add music for this. peaceful storm here. Okay, and then if you want to preview it, you can. I'm going to go ahead and not preview it for right now. And what I'll do is just for this purposes, I usually will customize my settings and everything, but for ease of use, just click for high definition display. And then I will rename it to my, I'll leave it, go ahead and say as my movie because we're, I'm not going to be uploading this or anything. But you can change the name here if you want. And I will leave it on my desktop and save it. And it will take a few minutes. It won't take too long for something so short. It will, in reality, take about three to five minutes. But I'll go ahead and come back when the video is all done. Alright, so as you can see, the video is wrapping up. And I'll just close this out. I don't really like any of Windows video players, so I use VLC when I play my videos. Uh, we'll go ahead and minimize that right now, and we'll find a video here. 
and we'll open it with VLC. And this is the video that was just created. And there you go. That's how you'd make a, a time-lapse video with Windows Movie Maker.